Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to get a quick glow up at home by making your own DIY body butter shimmer. This is a super quick and easy recipe that combines whipped body butter with a little bit of shimmer. Want to see exactly how I make this body butter shimmer? Well, keep watching. So before we get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So let's start with the fun stuff. I will be using Copper Sparkle Mica, and the other one is going to be copper as well, but it has a little bit more glitter in it. So I'm going to measure out the regular Copper Sparkle Mica first, and then I'm gonna follow that up by measuring out some of the more glittery one which is this one right here. So guys, just be really careful because the glitter is very light and it can float around in the air and get in your eyes and we don't want that. So now I'm just giving it a little stir just to make sure both of my micas are combined and ready to go. So for my butters, I'm going to be using Maru Maru, and then I will also be using Kokum Butter. So these are both natural butters. And next, I'm going to be adding in some sweet almond oil. So again, all of these butters and oils are natural and relatively light, so they won't leave your skin feeling super greasy. So now I'm pouring both of my butters into a larger container. So I started off by pouring in the Maru Maru and it actually doesn't matter which butter goes in first, either one will work fine. And so next I'm just going to pour in half of my sweet almond oil because I'm going to save the other half for a little bit later in the video. So keep watching so you can see exactly what I do with the rest of the oil that I have remaining. So now that all of my butters and oils are in a larger container, I'm going to go ahead and place them in a heat bath. And so of course that means that I'll be placing my butters and oils onto the stove on a low heat. And guys, I know that the heat looks high, but I'm turning it down very low and I'm just going to let it simmer just a bit and melt. So this normally takes about 20 minutes or so. While the butters are melting, I'm going to go ahead and measure out one more ingredient, and that is my arrowroot powder to make my butters and oils or my mixture feel less greasy. So now that my butters and oils are all melted, I'm pouring them into a bowl so that the butters and oils can begin to set. And in order to get them to set, I'm going to place them in the freezer for a little bit. I do like to make sure that my mixture is covered before I place them in the freezer. So I'm going to use some clean wrap and cover my bowl. And then I'm going to place it into the freezer for a couple of minutes. Just don't leave it in the freezer for too long. So I've taken my butter and my oil out of the freezer and as you can see it's a little solid around the edges but in the center it's not solid and this is okay I'm just going to mix it up with my hand mixer and you can use a stand mixer for this if you'd like but I don't mind using a hand blender sometimes when I'm making body butters so again you can see that my butter is now starting to turn white which means that it's becoming more whipped and more air is starting to incorporate into the butter and eventually will be left with a nice whipped shimmery body butter and that's exactly what we want so guys here's a tip if your butter starts to get a little runny you can always sit it back in the freezer for another 10 to 15 minutes to let the butter harden up again and actually you can leave it in longer the first time to let it get solid but I do like to take my butter out before it's completely solid
So as you can see, this time around, the butter mixture is much more solid, which definitely makes it a little bit more difficult to blend up, but just start blending and keep blending and it will start to soften up eventually. So now let's go ahead and add in some arrowroot powder. And the arrowroot powder, like I said, is going to help our butter not to be as greasy. And it's also going to give it a softer, silkier texture when we rub it into our skin. So that is one of the reasons why I really love using arrowroot powder. It definitely makes the butter more fluffy and soft when you place it on the skin. And it, look how soft this is. So now let's add in our vitamin E. And vitamin E, of course, is an amazing antioxidant and it's also great for healing the skin. And of course, it helps our oil not go rancid as fast. Just make sure to stir the vitamin E in really well like I'm doing. So now let's move on to the fun part and let's add in our sparkly mica and our sparkly glitter. So I'm going to actually add it into my sweet almond oil first before I pour it into my whipped body butter, just so that the mica mixes in really smooth and doesn't form any clumps when I put it into the body butter. So now I'm just pouring it into the body butter and look how pretty. So this mica color of course won't be as intense as it looks because we're working with an opaque butter. So our color is going to look more pale but you will still definitely be left with a beautiful bronzy coppery highlight. And you can always add additional mica to your body butter if you like for more color intensity. So again, guys, I know the color looks a little pale, but just wait until the end of the video when you see this on my skin to see what a beautiful highlight this body butter shimmer gives off. So now I'm just going to take my piping bag and tip and place my body butter into the piping bag. And this is gonna make it much easier to get it into our jar. So I like making my body butters look like dessert. So of course, you don't have to do this. You can use a spatula and place it in your container. So basically do whatever is easiest for you. So now I'm going to take some of the leftover mica sparkle and glitter and just shake it over the top of my body butter so it really looks delicious. But guys, don't eat this. So now I'm going to test it out on my skin and then look how pretty. So once I rub it in, it's pretty much dry so I'm not too concerned about it transferring onto my clothes or anything like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also products can be found in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!